Hi everybody. I'm here today to read you a book called Frog Boots by me, Jill Esbaum, and illustrated by Joshua Hines. All rights reserved, Sterling Publishing Company, Incorporated. Frog Boots. Dylan didn't want to start a new school with the same old stuff. One cool thing, that's all he needed. But mom wouldn't buy anything he liked. Not the ginormous backpack, not the camo underwear, not the scratch and gag stickers. He dragged his feet along like bricks until... Hmm. Mom, wait! Poison dart frogs. I love poison dart frogs. These, she said, not those with the dump trucks. These shimmery ones, I'm not even sure they're... Come on, Mom, please. I won't ask for one more thing. Dylan clomp tromped from the store, feeling cool and smart. Taller, even. He loved the boots so much he wore them to bed, which is how he discovered that the green frogs glowed in the dark. Who'd ever had such awesome boots? Nobody, that's who. Kids were going to think the boots and Dylan were super cool. On his first day at Madison, Dylan raced to circle time. Clump, trump, clump, trump. And stuck his feet right out into the middle. It worked too. Everybody was looking. Dylan was about to reveal the secret of the green frogs when a kid said, Miss Corey, that boy's wearing girl boots. Dylan bristled. These aren't girl boots. Are too, said a ponytailed girl. They're purple. My little sister has those. Everybody laughed and laughed. Miss Corey banged a tambourine for quiet. Feet in the middle, please. While she get, got kids talking about same and different, Dylan slowly pulled back his feet, feeling sweaty and prickly and dumb and very, very small. How was your first day at Madison, Mom asked. Okay, said Dylan, clomp tromping to his room. Tell his mom that the boots he'd begged for turned out to be girl boots? No way. There, the dopey things could rot for all he cared. Dylan devised a plan to avoid more embarrassment at his new school. For the rest of the week, he simply wouldn't look at anybody. That turned out to be quite a challenge, but he managed it. So he doesn't even look at the book the teacher is reading. He gets bonked in the head. He goes in the wrong bathroom. Friday night, Dylan paged through his favorite book. He still loved poison dart frogs. It wasn't their fault they got stuck being on girl boots. He knew the words by heart. Some of these poisonous pipsqueaks are only one inch long. That made him wonder. He found his ruler. Hmm, one inch, but something was different. Whoa, no glow. Dylan tried to forget about the greenies, but the faded little guys hopped right into his dreams. Dude, why'd you leave us in the closet? We thought you liked us. We need light. Yeah, light makes us glow. <laughs> Looks like a nightmare. The next morning, Dylan moved the boots to his windowsill. There, a little sunshine will fix you right up. Then he yanked the curtain shut. Just because he felt sorry for the frogs didn't mean he wanted to be reminded that he owned girl boots. After dark, though, Dylan had to peek. Instantly, he remembered how the greenies had surprised him that first night. How he'd thought the boots were awesome. How they'd made him feel cool and smart. Taller even. Until they didn't. Still, to never wear them again? Maybe he could just wear them on weekends. Who would know? 
Yes, the boots were perfect for the mud hole out back. Sploosh, splunk, sploosh. And for getting super close to the ducklings in the park. Mom, I can't even feel the rocks. It was especially fun reading about poison dart frogs to poison dart frogs. And look, here's where you live, the rainforest. Dylan wore the boots to bed. They felt so good on his feet, so right where they belonged. He wiggled his toes. These boots and those dump truck boots were probably exactly the same inside. Why then were these girl boots? Because they were purple? Phooey, Dylan said. Girls don't own purple. When Dylan clomp tromped into his classroom the next morning, he caught a boy named Jeremiah staring at the boots. Dylan looked down, but only to remind himself how much he loved his boots, his feel-so-right boots, his I-don't-care-if-they're-purple boots. Then he looked up, looked Jeremiah right in the eyes. Poison dart frogs, he said bravely, actual size. Amazing, said Jeremiah. Wish I had those. The ponytailed girl overheard, but they're girl boots. Not when they're on boy feet, Dylan said. Jeremiah laughed and laughed. Suddenly, Dylan felt cool and smart, taller even. Awesome. They're both wearing one boot and one shoe, chasing a frog. The end. Thanks for listening.